Y'all, I'm sorry I didn't post a video yesterday because I'm like, well, I doubled up on Saturday, so I should be able to have a break. But I'm back. It's Monday. We are now in a new month. And you know what that means? New month, new beginning. So we're about to start fresh and new. And I'm going to show y'all my weight. I ate so much. And I'm I hearing myself say that every video, I'm like, Diamond, you clearly know what the problem is. Why do you keep playing games? So what I'm going to do is I'm going on a five-day fast. I am going on a five-day water fast. No food at all, period. I need to drop this weight fast. But one thing that people do wrong with the water fast is afterwards, they pretty much go back to eating the same way. But I got to ease my way back into it. But I'm going to stop cold turkey. So I have not ate anything today. I did drink water, so staying hydrated is very important. But y'all about to see. And this is going to help me and let me know, Diamond, your mental is so strong. You are so powerful in the mind. If I could tell myself, you don't need no food. You don't need to eat. Most of the time, I don't even be hungry like that. It's just like the, the art of eating food. It's like, it's amazing. I'm going to show you how to scale so y'all can see. Ain't much change at all, so now I know it's time to kick it up a notch especially because we're in a new month and then i think we're gonna have a little girl chat so stay tuned <gasps> 175 oh this camera look bad okay you see it 175 i need to get my toes done my barney rolls but, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed, y'all, seriously. So, we're going to have a little girl chat this morning. I asked you all to send me some questions some time ago. So, I'm just getting around to the video. So, let's get into it. So I have my notebook right here. We're about to get into the questions. I had to write the questions down because I'm recording on my iPad. And I don't really got time to record and then go look. And then record and then go look. So, I'm like, let me just write it down what the questions are. And we're going to get into well abstaining from sex from this guy i'm talking to make him a better man girl no abstaining from sex is not going to make him a better man but you're going to better see his intentions like when you don't got that distorted image because y'all getting it in then you can really see him for him and he could see you for you so sometimes you do got to take a step back and be like mm, i'm not about to do it because I, I i really need to see what this really is through these lens it ain't gonna make him a better man but you're really going to probably get some answers that you probably would not have before my boyfriend complains that I nag him, but I'm really just telling him what I need. Should I fall back and let things be? You know, we always get this complaint that we're nagging, but no. Nagging is like you just being real nitpicky about stuff. But if you're just expressing your needs, child, no. Keep your foot on his neck because the minute you lower your expectations, that is the beginning of the end of the relationship. If you require the bare minimum, he going to do the bare minimum. So no, keep your standards up. And if he don't meet it, or not even just women, if she don't meet it, then you need to bounce. It shouldn't be no type of argument because you're communicating your needs. The person that you're with should want to meet your needs and make sure that you're good because they just love you like that. My dad cheated on my mom. My view of love is effed up. What should I do? Their relationship is their relationship. All men are not trash. If you have the mentality that all men are trash or all women are trash, you're going to treat them all like trash. And then you're going to end up ruining a potentially good relationship. Keep your heart open. Be willing to love. And just know everybody's not the same. Are you just like the next woman? You know, I was something different about you. So that'll make your dad just like the next man. I want casual sex with the guy, but I want to see if he's someone I can date. Well, if I was to get my opinion, I would say, if you just want casual sex, make sure you let him know that. Because a lot of the times we want a certain thing and the other person want another thing and we don't communicate what it is that we want. And then our feelings end up getting hurt because we on two different pages. So I would let him know, you know, set the boundary that this is what it is and see if he wants the same thing. If he don't leave, if he do, then you're doing good. But... I don't know. Back to kind of what I was talking about earlier. Like, you know, it's nothing wrong with having sex with a person, but sometimes you don't you don't see clear. So y'all might be casually having sex and you just enjoying it, girl. You enjoying it. And he's like, dang, I want to be with him. But like if the sex wasn't an equation, would you still want to be with him? 
Maybe you should casually date him. But hey, you know you better than I know you, girl. So if you could do it and keep your feelings out of it, by all means. But you said that you wanted to see if you could date him. So I don't know if that's really the best option. But hey, this is just my opinion. I'm not a doctor. I want to let him know I want to date him without telling him. Now, most people would just say, girl, just tell him. Just tell him. Just open your mouth. But I'm a little bit of a shy person when it comes to relationships in the beginning. So I'm not the type to be like, I like you. Like, I need you to tell me first. So what you can do is just something cute. Like, you know, what do you like to do for fun? And if he say, oh, I like going out for drinks or I like golfing or I like watching football, blah, blah, blah. Then you could be like, hey, maybe we could do X, Y, and Z together. So if it's like, you know. He like bowling. Oh, yeah, maybe we could go bowling. Let me know when you're free. And if he down with the get down, then that's, you know, easing your way up in here to the date. And then you can see if, you know, you like him and he like you. I want to hang out with boys, but I'm afraid to tell my mom, baby girl, baby girl. Everybody parent at the same. I can say my mom was cool with it, but, you know, she's strict. But she cool, she laid back. But not every parent is like that. So I would say test the waters with your mama. Let her know, hey, like, I have guy friends too. I want to hang out with them. Um, you know, how do you feel about it? So then you can see. Because maybe you creating this thing in your head and your mother really cool with it. She was just waiting for you to, to ask. Or if it's a dude you want to date and you kind of like him and you young, I would say make sure you hang out in group settings. It's odd numbers and it's co-ed, Okay. Male and female, odd numbers, and group settings out in the public. Because you don't need to be cooped up in no man house. Just one-on-one, -on -one, y'all two. Mm -mm. Nope. How to stop easily having sex with a guy. Well, girl, I'm going to give you the same advice that I gave the other girl. First of all, you set the boundary. You set the key. Can't nobody do anything that you don't allow them to do unless... God forbid you're in a, a life-threatening situation and you're forced into something. But just aside from the traumatic type things, don't put yourself in the position. When you start tongue kissing and it get hot and heavy, then you start doing more stuff. Refrain from it. Cute little peck. Keep it cute and classy. Don't be dark in a room because dark, it make you sleep. It make your body relaxed. You don't want to do that. And also... Make sure you ain't, it ain't always one-on-one -on -one and y'all in the house, okay? When you date a dude, go out, okay? Go out, go for a walk. It ain't even not always got to be about spending money. Go for a walk, go to the lake, you know, window shop at the mall, whenever. Okay, think about the types of things that make you want to have sex and stay away from that. Don't be watching the movies, listening to certain music that be getting you in the mood. Stay away, girl, stay away. All right, let me see. Being with the older man or woman. Older women can be very controlling, okay? They've been around for some time. And sometimes they think that they know better than you. And sometimes they do know better than you. But it can feel like a controlling situation. Same with a man. But men are more so manipulative when they're older men. But I don't know how much older you're talking. Like if it's two or three years. But if it's like, like 10, 15, 20 years. You got to pay attention. Make sure you are whole, you are grounded. You stick to what you know, what you believe in, what you like. Like, can't nobody make you waver, then you're good. Because when you hold with you and you know what you want, you're good to go. But if not, if you're a little bit moldable, if you're a little bit shaky, then that man or woman can, can make you into another person and change some things. So. Confused boys. Girl, if he acting confused, leave him alone. Abort the mission. Ain't nobody got time to be wondering, do he like me? Do he not? Do he like me? Do he not? No, a man that really wants you or a woman that really wants you, they gonna make it clear. They gonna let you know because don't nobody want nobody to take their man or woman. Um, oh, this is pretty much the same. So I can answer this real quick. Um, how do you feel about girls and guys sending mixed signals? Let me tell you, I used to be a mixed signal type of girl, okay? And it's unfair. It's not cute. Feelings get hurt in the end. So mixed signals is really a person saying like, look, I'm liking this attention you're giving me. I'm, I'm liking all of this attention. I don't really want you, but I'm enjoying it right now. But I haven't really put my finger on a person that I actually want. I haven't met them yet, or maybe they ain't acting right. So you just occupy my time till I get what I really want. Deal with somebody that's clear and upfront and honest and really want you like 
If a dude really wants you, you're not going to be confused. He going to know. If a woman really wants you, she going to make it known. She probably going to be like, um, it's time to put a ring on it. My girlfriend blocked me, dumped me, and now wants to be friends. Now, I am the queen of block, but it's because I be emotional. I be real emotional, but I still, I be caring. I be caring. But let me say, if she blocked you, she dumped you, and then some time went around, and she wanted to be friends, do you really want to be friends with somebody that think you just disposable? Hmm. That's our tea talk for the day. Those are the questions I have. I'm going to probably answer some more in another video. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you got some questions. Share this video with your homegirl, with your homeboy, with your friends. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it on our road to 500 subscribers.